welcome. Uh, I'm Sarah Raymond. If you haven't uh, worked with me before, I'm glad to have you. Today's practice is a centering practice. And uh, what that means really is just coming into your body, coming into your energy. I think oftentimes we live up in our heads and so bringing some attention and awareness into our body and into our energy can be really supportive so that you can uh, understand your needs, you can understand your desires and therefore uh, speak them and have them met. So uh, we'll start seated and then we're going to move into a little bit of very, very gentle stretching on hands and knees and then come back to finish in a seated posture. So please feel free to grab any props that you need and then make yourself comfortable. Uh, preferably with your spine straight. So if you prefer to lie down, you are welcome to do that. Uh, just make sure your spine is straight. <sighs> okay. Here we are, arrived at our practice. So if you feel comfortable with it, close your eyes. And if you don't want to close your eyes, if you're not in a space where that feels safe or comfortable, you can just soften your gaze down. And this closing of your eyes or softening of your gaze can invite your attention to begin to turn inward. And you might think of this practice as a narrowing. So we'll start wide, kind of like water in a funnel, and then bring our focus inward gradually. So begin to notice the energy on either side of you. And that might mean a lot of different things to you. So whatever you sense when I say that is just right. And notice the energy behind you. Think of all your experience in the past generations before you. Notice the energy in front of you. The future. The direction that you are going. Notice the energy beneath you the support, the earth below that. And finally, the energy above you. You might think of it as a spirit energy or a higher power, whatever resonates. And then with this energetic support, almost like a cocoon for your body, set an intention for today's practice. The why that you are here. And as we start to narrow our focus inward, keep that intention in your heart. You can gently blink your eyes open if they were closed. 
and with the support of the energy around you, we'll start to bring some awareness to our body. So we're gonna start with a foot massage. So you can extend one leg out in front of you and cross the other leg over your thigh. This can be done on a chair or lying down if, you, if you're comfortable with that. And just take the, uh, your thumbs on the soles of your feet. And you're just pressing anywhere that feels good, really. So explore. Maybe you squeeze your heel. Maybe you rub a little on your arch. So the purpose of this massage is, well, yes, it feels good. And also it's bringing uh, some stimulation, some awareness, bringing blood flow to this area. Maybe squeeze and gently pull your toes. And then take your hand on the top of your foot and gently pull down. So you're stretching more the front of your ankle and the top of your foot. And then take the other hand on the sole of your foot and gently pull your toes back toward your shin. And then with that stretch, if it's comfortable, use your thumb to rub across the arch. And uh, this can be a little on the tight side, especially if you wear shoes a lot, where you don't stretch this area very frequently. And then we'll release that foot out. Maybe just shake it, circle it. And I don't know about you, but my one foot already looks like it's a better color. It's got a little more life in it. So let's switch sides. And that was only, what, 30 seconds or so. You could do this anytime you need. All right, so we're just using thumbs to press and massage the sole of your foot. Again, squeeze the heel if that feels good. Twist and gently pull your toes. And then take your hand on the top of your foot, gently pull down, stretch through the front of your ankle and top of your foot. And then switch sides. So hand pulling the toes back towards your shin. You can again rub across the arch gently. I don't know about you, but my feet don't get much, much attention these days. <laughs> so this is really uh, nice and nurturing. And then release that foot out, give it a little shake, wiggle. And then we'll move to a hand massage. So also kind of coming from the limbs of the farthest points of your body and we'll start to work our way in. So really anything goes that feels good. I like to use my thumb to rub the palm. And then maybe just like we did with our toes, give a little uh, twist and pull, rubbing up through the fingers. You might start to feel a, a bit of energy coming into your body, into your hands. And then shake that out. Notice a difference. And then the other hand. And all the while starting to narrow your focus, your attention inward. Again, give a little gentle twist and pull of your fingers. and then just shake out both hands. Okay, so from here we'll move into our hands and knees position. Feel free to grab any props that you might need. Maybe have a blanket under your knees or a towel. 
can roll up your mat. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna actually move this off to the side. Okay, so on hands and knees, curl your toes under, and then start to shift your weight back onto uh, your heels, towards your heels. So you're getting a stretch on the sole of your foot, sole, soles of your feet. And then a little shift from side to side. And then depending on what your feet feel like they can tolerate, you might be able to bring your hands off the floor onto your thighs. So this will put more weight into that stretch. If it's too intense, uh, keep your hands on the ground. A little shift. And then we can put hands back down, uncurl the toes. And then just sit back towards your heels any amount and we'll stretch out through the wrists and hands a little. Uh, so first fingers are pointing forward and then you're going to keep your fingers on the ground and lift the heel of your hands off. So you're stretching more through the fingers. And then from there, the farther forward you go with your shoulders, the deeper that stretch will be. So just go to a point that feels tolerable for you. And then sit back towards your heels, release that stretch. And then turn your hands over so that you're on the tops of your hands with your fingers pointing towards your knees. And here, the farther back you bring your hips, the deeper the stretch. So if it's too much, lift up a little bit. And if you still want more, you might slide your hands forward. And then release that stretch. If you want to do a few wrist circles, it might be nice just to loosen up there. And then shift your weight forward onto your hands and knees. And then we'll start to make some circles. So we're bringing our awareness now a little bit more into the trunk and the hips. So take your hips over to your right, then back towards your heels. Hips go over to your left and forward toward your wrists. And then just take that into a nice fluid motion. And if it feels safe and comfortable to close your eyes, you can do so. And then let's change the direction. So go over to your left, back to the hips, to the right, and forward. Just let your breath be fluid. And then come back through the midpoint. Readjust anything that you need to. And then we'll move into a twist. So let's pick our right hand up towards the ceiling. Push down into the floor and really spin your chest up as far as you can. And then take your right hand through your left hand and knee. If you're comfortable with it, lay your shoulder down, lay the uh, side of your forehead down. And then with your left hand, gently push into a little bit of a deeper twist. And then come back to center. And let's do the other side. So pick up your left hand, push into the floor with your right hand, turn your heart upward toward the ceiling. And then going the other direction, left hand goes through. You can lay your shoulder down. And if this feels a little too much on the neck, you can bring your hips back toward your heels a little deeper. Press gently with your right hand. And gently come back to center. And then one last stretch here on hands and knees. Bring the hips back toward your heels. And if you want to go a little wider with your knees, you can. And then just lower your chest down into a child's pose. You can rest your forehead if you'd like. Take a couple breaths. And again, this really brings your attention to the center of your body. And then walk your hands over to your right. You might even lay your, your ribs on your right thigh. And then 
Take a little deeper stretch through the left side of your body, lengthening your left fingers forward and your left hip back. And then come back through center slowly and over to the other side. So hands walk to your left. And now the emphasis is on the right side, body lengthening. Right fingers reach forward, hip back. And then take your time, come back through center. Walk your hands in. Okay, we are gonna move into a seated posture again. So take your time setting up, make sure you're comfortable. I'm glad I'm not outside right now because it's pouring, but it's a nice sound in the background. Okay, so as you come back to seated, we're gonna move into some rib circles. So similar to the circles we did on hands and knees, but now uh, feeling your pelvis on the ground or on whatever prop you're on. Uh, so holding on to knees or thighs, start to move your ribs over to one side. And then you're rocking back a little bit and then move your ribs to the other side and forward. And you'll just keep going around like that. And you can see the pelvis is probably gonna rock a little. That's fine. Feel how your weight shifts around the pelvis. When you get back to the center, go the other direction. And again, you can close your eyes and bring your uh, awareness internally. and then find your center. Okay, and then we'll move into a little bit of a facial massage. So you can start at the cheeks. So your fingers, if you find your cheekbones just on either side of your nose, you're gonna give a little gentle press in and then almost like circles, well, not almost, they, they are circles and you can go in either direction. Press as firmly or gentle as is comfortable for you. And you might start to walk your fingers out a little wider on your cheekbones or a little more narrow, whatever feels good. And then from there, moving to the center of your eyebrows. And um, maybe you just stay there with two fingers and make some circles there, if that feels nice. Or you can take uh, both hands, just one finger from each hand, you press in, and then almost like you're drawing a line up and over your eyebrows to the temples, and then you come back and start again. So either of those techniques or a little bit of both are fine. And then lastly, we move to the jaw. So it's approximately in line with your earlobe. There's a little indentation at the jaw and you'll press fairly firmly if you can tolerate it and then open and close your jaw. And then take your thumb underneath of the jawbone and start to go down towards your chin. You can also make circles near that indentation. As always, take the suggestions that are useful for you and leave the rest. Okay, and then just let your arms rest. Close your eyes if they're not already or soften your gaze. 
And then just like that funnel image, let your attention come to your center. And that's in the middle of your body, just below your navel. And as you let your awareness rest there, focus on breathing into the space. Breathing three dimensionally, filling up the front and back of your body, filling up side to side, and filling up the length of your body. And you might notice as you are filling up three-dimensionally in all directions, your energy is beginning to meet or connect with the energy around you. And yes, you can have healthy boundaries containing your energy, not allowing any unwanted energy in. And at the same time, you can connect with and receive support from the positive and safe energy around you. And now allow your attention to move upward to the center of your heart, center of your chest. And come back to your three-dimensional breath here. Filling up front to back. Expanding side to side. Creating a spaciousness in the length or the height of your center. And this is where the energy of your love resides. So tap into that. And now move your focus to your third eye or the center between your eyebrows. And again, find your three-dimensional breath. Creating space, expanding and opening. Allowing your energy to safely be supported and connected 
with the energy around you. Remaining in this safe, centered energy. Call to mind your intention once more. And I invite you to remain connected with this intention throughout your day. And I encourage you to come back to this feeling of being centered. as many times as you need, knowing this is where your power resides, in the center of your belly, your love in the center of your heart. and your inner wisdom in the center between your eyebrows. Take another long, slow breath into the center of your body. And a full breath out. Now remaining in touch with your center. Allow your attention to gradually broaden outward. Feeling the energy around you once more. And when you're ready, open your eyes and come back to full awareness. <sighs> I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a really beautiful and centered day.